Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another episode of Shadows of Mordor. So in today's episode, we're going to be going on doing some of the more main quests again, uh, going on and continuing the story. Uh, so there's one up here that we just got up to. I was just waiting for these guys to get done with their little fight with one another and uh, figure out what was going on with that. And then we're going to want to continue up with the story here. So I'm not sure what we're going to be doing here. I do know that this is the mission where you actually encounter Smeagol, but I can't. I obviously have no idea what's going on with that. So we'll so find out what's going on. Hides in the shadows, I Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. And you feel he has answers for both of us. I really like. The elf. Find him, he, he he reminds me of of Data and uh, you know Data and Spock. You know he's very logical. Very seems logical. These Captain. tracks are not quite human, not quite beast. Even more reason to investigate. Die, worm! <laughs> Thank you. Right, right. Just don't waste your life. It would appear the creature is an apt climber. The Mope slaves finally escaped. But that was my count. Their first attack. Boosh! So I'm pretty sure he's that way, isn't it? Yeah, he's this way. But why wouldn't you blow somebody, those guys up? That's the better question. You have to ask. Him. I sense it knows more of me than I know of myself. How could a rodent possibly know of a rife? It is somehow connected to me. I feel it. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and go up there. We should be able to take out these guys because it wants us to do a bonus mission of taking out these of uh, freeze for slaves. There's a whole bunch of slaves right here that we can freely slay. That we can freely. Someone's killing him. Do not hesitate. Run to freedom. And boom. So we've set those guys free and we're good to go. Thank you, Ranger. I've been playing a lot of, uh. Admittedly, I have been playing a lot of, um. Wildlands between this, so the stealth thing is, like, totally on my. Uh, in my head right now, like, a lot. You know, I, I feel like I knew where I was supposed to go with this. I swear I have not done this mission since the first time, but it just. It felt. It just felt like this was naturally where I was supposed to go. There. It's on the run. There, it's on the run. Spiders. I hate you. And what is this? I'm pretty sure that's not what I saw on the ground right there. Pretty sure I saw a big, huge thing. What manner of spell is this? A loss in Italian. You remember? Oh boy. Quick, it is escaping. Hmm. It's a little weird that it just kinda like poofed like that. Like that was that was a little weird animation. But you know, whatever. Whatever needs to be. 
Oh look, enemies. Udo hunters. They must have tracked the categories here. Hunters should be dealt with quickly. Press space while running to dodge their spears. Yeah, the, the hunters are kind of dangerous. Uh, their spears are, are really... Uh-oh. We missed. Probably should have let him do that, but... Yeah, what do you, you know? Press space bar to dodge. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Oh, come on! Pick your target, man! Oh, come on now. This is getting annoying. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the thing that makes it so that I can kill somebody if I do that. If they, they go to attack me and I can kill them with it. Yeah, I've always sort of felt like the um, the the, the deep-sounding voiced one is basically the ring. You know what I mean? Like it's it's the ring speaking to him. Um, it sneak up on me so like it's the actual the actual um, the closest thing to actually being the ring. always the same thing. Some per one person totally distrusts Smeagol and he should have killed him to begin with but the other one doesn't. And you know the really funny thing about that is that if they, if anybody had actually acted on their feelings and killed Smeagol, it's really weird to say how the actual story itself would have played out. I don't know. It's always been a really strange. Um... I do not trust him. We need him. Do not wish to know who I am. Do you not know who I wish? That was the first time he's ever really felt emotional. I suppose that's you know. I suppose that's the idea, I guess. All right, so we've unlocked a couple of missions now. So I figured, you know, we could probably go and run a couple of these. We, we'll go ahead and do some story missions. Um, you know what? I kind of want to go and unlock this one. So I'm going to go unlock that tower. Um, so we're going to go unlock that tower and get ourselves to another mission, and then we'll be back once we've done that. stones luminous as if they were cast from light.
So, I was basically running along and I saw that this little um, confrontation was here. It was a side quest I did not actually do. There's a couple of side quests that I haven't done yet, and there's just a couple of side quests that I just haven't simply done for you guys. And I felt like, you know, this one actually is a pretty interesting one. Uh, this is pretty much like a, a captain actually coming out and saying, hey, I want to fight you. So I wanted to go ahead and do this one for you uh, while we're doing, uh, doing you know, some of the other side, some of the main quests. Objective, kill all the gang followers first. Well, that should be pretty easy. Now, this guy is a veteran captain. So, he should be... Let me see here. Is he actually in here? No, he's not in here, actually. So, he is a tougher captain, though. Um, that much is true. There you go, I already completed the main quest, or the side quest. Hey, hey. I'll break every weak little bone in your body, I have to say, I really like that helmet. That's an interesting helmet. Oops. Well, that's what happens. Cut his head off. Oh, too bad. I was going to just cut his head off. Alright guys, so we made it finally to the main quest uh, we're going to be doing. This is the quest that follows up from that original one that uh, has to do with the slave or the slaver that we killed and then we uh, set that one slave guy free and he wanted us to come to the outcast camp. Well, this is the outcast camp. So we'll just go ahead and head out that way. We obtained some valuable information from this one before he lost his head. He's grown slow nothing. We've wasted precious time. Wasted time? We have learned where they are keeping our blasting powder. What need have I of blasting powder? It's all part of the plan, my friend. Whatever leads us to the Black Hand is my only concern. So anxious to find the Black Hand. And by all means, I will take you to him. And with any luck, the Uruks have yet to discover the secrets of the blasting powder. We will need to free my men to find out. Do you believe the blasting powder can draw out the Black Hand? I pray so. The enemy gathers at Uruk's Hollow, where many of my men are enslaved. I like to, I to listen to these guys talk, so I do apologize if I don't talk or, or any of the mic goes quiet or something like that while I'm actually doing this. It's just, I really like to listen to this kind of stuff, so. Weakness. Grog, have you ever heard of Hithless? It's toxic and is good for one thing, poisoning orcs. Follow me. Ooh, this gets me the grog poisoning thing. I love the grog poisoning. That, that's one of my most favorite gate, things. I feel sick. It was Aaron who nursed me to health. Is she the reason you joined the tribesmen? Of the many, she is my most cherished. There are only so many camps my wife could have been taken to. Do you believe she will be at this one? My heart says yes. I hope for your sake she is here, God. Right. Happy endings never happen quite that way. Isn't this like the third time I've come over to this location? I feel like this is like not the first time I've been here. I'll keep watch for Uruks. Be careful, Ranger. We'll be joining into one big army. Into one big army. I don't know if that's actually the one we're supposed to be collecting, but I saw it and I was so like, you know what? Away, their targets is dead before we
You don't need to even keep watch. Which is interesting. These herbs are basically like just like growing freely out here. You know what I mean? Like think about it that way. These herbs are just basically growing freely out here, and I bet you money they probably pop up right as soon as you. Yep, there they are. Yeah, but they're just growing freely out here like weeds, and yet they're poisonous to orcs. What is up with that? I suppose it might have been a a defensive mechanism because this is basically like where orcs actually grow. You ever think that's maybe like an eco plants ahead. an Follow ecological. Me. Ecological, sorry, ecological growth, like evolution, for this particular area. Blasting powder. And where's the last one? Ah, okay, here you are. Also up against the wall. It's interesting that there are even plants at all that grow here. You know. do is drop it into their grog. Will the orcs not smell the poison? No, but if they spot you, I doubt they will drink from it. Right. The Uruks are stationed by the front gates. For the sake of my men, keep to the shadows. I'll gather my men and wait. We'll stand ready to seize the blasting powder once the camp is clear. You know, not gonna lie, there's a look a tower right there. I totally want it. Can I go grab that? Remember, like Talion, don't be seen. These Uruks have killed many slaves for far less. Okay. Sweet. Okay. So I do have it. Stealth kill five Uruks. So that's the bonus objective, is I gotta stealth kill five oh, more things. So that shouldn't be too difficult. It looked like there was a couple of archers, so I might be able to just get it from them. I figured I was over here. Might as well grab it. No offense, man. I don't really want to listen to you talk. <laughs> Okay. So we got All right. So we got that one. Let's go on ahead and poison this grog. Uh, no I'll try to. This stuff burns so well. I'll try to sneak this one. This one should be easy to do. You're spotting me. Okay, good. There's a war chief on his way, and he's a real piece of work. And then I should be able to, because now those guys just departed off to that one, get this one. Without any issues. Oh, okay. Well, wh whatever floats your boat, man. Oh, the stink of this. Okay, that should be good. Come with me. so heartbreaking. Though I'm kind of curious as to why she could see a human and get so... I don't know. We will find our peace. I don't know. It's a little weird. I don't know. Because, like, I mean... She's she's human. She she knows. She I We just got done killing all the orcs that have been, like, abusing her for probably, like, forever. So, I don't know. It's a little weird. But, what ifs. Anyways, uh, that's all I'm going to basically do on this episode today. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this so far. Uh, you guys know the drill by now. Like, favorite, and subscribe, of course. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying um, the stuff, you know, put, definitely leave a comment in the, in the box below so we have an idea of what's what we want, what you guys want to see some more here. Um, definitely let me know about that. Um, I'm probably going to be doing another episode about with this one here soon uh, for you guys so that way we can get this all, you know, start getting this a, a little bit of moving along. Uh, but definitely look out for my other series such, my, such as Wildlands and of course as De for, for Deceit. I have plans for that as well. Um, I certainly hope again as you guys, as I said, you guys enjoyed all of this and, and of course, as always guys,
Good luck out there, and don't forget to have fun.